All right, make sure you like the video, sub, turn on notifications, and join my Discord, link in the description. All right, uh, so I'm going to show you how to make your own Zone Wars and Box Fight map. It's actually pretty simple. Um, I recommend you pause and play the video as you go through in your own map to make sure you get every step right. All right, so I do already have a Zone Wars Box Fights map. Um, I'll be sure to put a link in the description so you can go ahead and find the code if you want to try mine out. Um, but what I'm going to do here is I have everything kind of organized to make it a little bit easier to show you where exactly you're going to end up and how to do this. So the first place you want to start off is in the spawn area. So this will be your island star area, so you can decorate it however you want. Um, you need a different spawn pad for each individual player, and you have to make sure you set the spawn pad to primary. So let me show you uh, player spawn pad. All right, the only thing you have to do is make it primary. Um, so if you're going to have 16 people, you need 16 of them. Okay, so I just threw mine around, but you can put yours however you want. Um, and that's it for this one. All done with the spawn. All right, so to start actually making your map, next you need to do your round setting devices. So let's go ahead and grab one of those. We're going to be copy pasting a lot. Uh, this way it saves all of our settings. Um, so first we're going to start off with the zone wars. Um, we're going to make it round one and on round start, transmit on channel one. So round one and then on round start, transmit on channel one. All right, so I'm going to have uh, 10 rounds, so it'll be five in Zone Wars and five in Box Fights. So I'm going to copy and paste it. And the only thing I'm going to change is round three. These are going to be my odd number for the Zone Wars. Five. So every odd round is going to be Zone Wars. And nine. All right, and now for box fights, that's going to be our even rounds. All you have to do is just copy paste. I'm going to make it round two. And then for this, you have to change it to on round start, transmit on channel two. And now you can copy paste these. And all you have to do is change the round. Now, when you do these, um, you're going to want to do it out of the way, have it, you know, covered because you don't really want people to see this. All right. And that's it for our round setting devices. Now, item granters. Now, this is what we're going to use to move people around the map. Uh, uh, item grantor. Okay. All right. So we're going to drop one bullet in here. Just one. You could use a bullet you don't need. So I'll drop a rocket in there. Okay. And then uh, receiving players is going to be all players. And then uh, so we're going to do grant item when receiving from channel one. Grant item when receiving from channel one. And then when item is granted, we're going to transmit it on channel three. Okay, so after that, you're going to copy and paste it. It'll save everything you already did. And the only thing you're going to do is change this to uh, grant item when receiving from channel two. And that's it. Now we're going to do the item granters for loot. So we want to go ahead and grab. An item grantor. Place that down. Uh, we want to do enable on game start is going to be no. The receiving player is going to be the triggering player. On grant action, keep all. Uh, grant all items. Enable when receiving from channel one. And grant item when receiving from channel three. All right. So. 
this is going to be our Zone Wars loot. Um, so for Zone Wars, if you played mine, I use a blue AR. I, I can't remember if I have a purple or a gold pump in there, but I started using gold pumps in my maps because the, uh, the purple pump can no longer 200. Uh, consumables, my storm ticks for 10, so I give two fish and uh, only two minis. Don't forget to grab materials, ammo, and you can go ahead and drop all that in. Okay, and that's everything for our Zone Wars. Now, we're going to copy and paste it, and we're going to do our box fight loot. So all we're going to do is on the bottom left here, you see this gear button. You're going to click that and clear items. That's going to keep the settings, but get rid of the items that are in there so you can have different loot for your box fights. So for box fights, I do a blue AR, gold pump, I only give wood. Uh, for this, I'll do two minis and one slurp fish. Okay, so our box fight loot is in. The only thing you're going to do is change enable when receiving from channel two. And then that's it for your loot, and then you're ready to move on to your timers. Okay, uh, start when receiving from channel one and when completed, transmit on channel four. Okay, and that's for the zone wars. Now for the box fights. Um, same thing, but start from channel two, not one. And that's it for your timed objectives. So all we have to do now is come over to our zone wars area. Uh, very fancy, right? Hopefully yours will look a lot better than what I did here. Uh, next, we're going to go ahead and put our teleporters in. All right, and for the teleporters, uh, there's a lot you have to change for this, but you're only going to have to do it really one time. So you're going to go ahead and grab one. Um, so this is our Zone Wars area, so you'll place it wherever your player is meant to spawn. I'll just put it right here. Um, so we're going to make the first two teleporter group and teleporter target group both to none. Uh, enable during phase, none. We're going to make it team one. Uh, we're going to make it invisible, no sound effects, no visual effects, no conserve momentum. And then uh, we're going to do teleport to, teleport to when receiving from channel three and then enable when receiving from channel one all right so that's our first teleporter all you're going to do with this is you're going to copy it and paste it into a different spawn the only thing you have to change is the team so if you're having you know up to 16 people you're going to have 16 teams All right, so I think you, you kind of get the gist here. So I'm only going to do four, but that's that's how you do it. Um, you'll just have 16 different rifts with 16 different teams. Okay, and then uh, after that, you're going to want to add your barriers. Now, there's different ways you can do it. You can have, let's say you have uh, kind of like mine, if you've seen mine, right? Mine is, uh, we'll just put this here. So my my zone wars is basically a big wall and everybody spawns in here and then they come out. Um, I have one big barrier to block everybody all in one shot, 
But you might be doing yours a little bit different. You might have everybody in a box uh, or on a platform. So you can pick how you want to do your barriers, but the settings for each will be the same. So I'm going to go ahead and grab these. All right, so for the barrier, all you want to do is you want to change it to zone shape box hollow and then disable when receiving from channel four. That's all you have to do. Just make sure you have the right height or width or length or, you know, whatever whatever your uh, zone looks like, whatever your spawns look like. So I'm only going to do four. Uh, you will be doing 16. Um, definitely try out my map too so you can kind of see what I did. All right, so that's going to be it for my uh, little makeshift zone wars. <laughs> and then the only other thing you want to add for your zone wars is a storm. Um, I'm going to show you how to do a basic storm. All right, so you see this antenna on top, right? You want it to face the direction that you want your storm to go. Okay, and you can really put it anywhere. Usually I just put it at the top of my, my zone wars area. So you want to have it uh, generate on storm start. Uh, generate storm on game start is going to be no. Um, and your size, your initial size, you're going to do that based on what your spawn looks like. Uh, 50 meters might not be big enough. You might need to make it bigger. You might want it smaller. It's going to depend on your specific map. But you do want to make your delay time uh, five seconds. And then uh, generate storm when receiving from channel one. And if you need more information on how to work storms, I can do another video, comment down below, let me know. Uh, so we're gonna kinda call it a day for zone wars and head over to box fights. Now, to make your life a million times easier, grab a rip from zone wars and bring it over to box fights. Okay. Then all you have to do is change where it says enable from run receiving from channel one, make it channel two. And then you have to go back to your teams. We got team one, team two, team three, and we got our team four. Uh, when you do this, you don't you don't want to have one and two right next to each other. So you'll have like one on this side, two on that side, three on this side, four on that side. Have your odds and evens on opposite sides. So this way, you know, people aren't always spawning right on top of each other if you don't have a full 16. And the barriers, uh, they're going to work the same exact way. You can have one barrier per spawn. So for the barrier, you want to make it box hollow. Um, if it's two levels high, you want to make your barrier height two, and that'll make it a little bit taller. Uh, disable when receiving from channel four and see how it's high enough so they can go up two levels. But that's it. It's uh, pretty simple. Now, if you if you go through this and you know you say, oh, it's not working. Um, I promise you this does work. Uh, go through again, pause and play as you're doing it. That's your best bet. All right, and here are a couple settings you're going to want to go through and change. Um, so you want last standing, ends game on, join in progress, spawn on next round, health granted on elim 50, uh, teams free for all, spawn limit one, otherwise people are gonna keep respawning and that sucks. Team rotation every round, starting shield 100, fall damage on, glider redeploy off. Um, here is my map. I know my picture kind of sucks. I got to put a better one on there eventually, but there's the code. You're more than welcome to try it out. I'll also put a link in the description of this video for you too. All right, so we have our spawn, our devices, our zone wars, and our box fights all ready to go. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start a game just to show you how everything's going to work. So 
I'm in my spawn, awesome. And it brought me right over to Zone Wars, where I can build only a one by one, because that's how I set it. But you could you could fix your barriers however you'd like. And as you can see, I have a storm as well, which is coming in kind of slow, but you can set your storm speed up however you want. You can have it rotate over to a certain area. Um, if you need another video on how to work the storms, let me know and I'll get that out to you as well. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, just kill myself so you can see how it'll switch me over to box fights. I have fall damage on. And I'm dead. <laughs> but I still won! <laughs> uh, alright, alright. Uh, the time between rounds don't have it set to 15 seconds because it is such a long wait. I didn't change that yet, but uh, but definitely make yours less. I think I have mine at like 5 seconds. And then it brought me right back to the spawn area before moving me into the box fights where I can go too high. And my barrier is here so I can't get through until that timer runs out. But that's it. I hope this helped you. If you need anything else, comment, let me know. Uh, take a look in the description. Uh, join my Discord. You can also reach out to me in there. And I'll, you know, get whatever else you need out to you. Well, enjoy.